MIXED EMOTIONS IN DANVILLE TONIGHT AS NEIGHBORS DECIDE WHETHER OR NOT TO RAISE THEIR OWN PROPERTY TAXES. Yeah, THE SCHOOL DISTRICT SAYS IT NEEDS MILLIONS OF DOLLARS FOR UPGRADES, TEACHER PAY AND BUILDING IMPROVEMENTS. AND AS NEWS 8'S DAVID WILLIAMS REPORTS, THEY'RE ASKING RESIDENTS FOR THE MONEY TO BE ABLE TO DO IT. <laughs> CRUMBLING PLAYGROUND EQUIPMENT, A DAMAGED ROOF YEARS PAST ITS PRIME. DANVILLE'S NORTH ELEMENTARY SCHOOL IS ALMOST 60 YEARS OLD. DANVILLE COMMUNITY SCHOOL SAYS IT NEEDS ABOUT $53 MILLION TO RENOVATE AND IMPROVE EXISTING SCHOOL BUILDINGS. Uh, RENOVATIONS TO IMPROVE SAFETY, uh, TO IMPROVE our, OUR CLASSROOM ENVIRONMENT FOR OUR STUDENTS, and to just generally take care of aging buildings that have met their end of lifespan. Which is why two referenda will be on the ballot in November. The other would help pay for transportation, improve student security, keep up academic programs, and go toward teacher pay. And one of the things that we're running into at Danville is being competitive with our teacher pay. Many districts around us offer more uh, funding, higher pay uh, for their teachers, and uh, we lose a lot of teachers over the years to um, higher paying districts. To do all of these things, local property taxes would have to increase. I think this is grossly unfair. Well, we understand that no one loves taxes. Say you own a home valued at $150,000, which the district says is average. Your property taxes would increase $200 a year, or $16.67 a month. Our bottom dollar might be $20, $30 a month. I mean, so to me, to get the improvements for my granddaughter who's going to be going to school here in Danville for the next 12 years, I think it'd be great. Uh, we all want our kids to go to school in an adequately equipped and safe school environment. But when you dig into the details of what they propose to do with these referendum dollars, we think go far beyond what is necessary to provide that adequately equipped and safe environment for our kids. David Potter leads the Danville Community for Responsible Spending Group. His family would wind up paying an extra $220 a month in property taxes. He thinks the referenda are a bad idea. If the tax increase was directly proportionate to the assessed valuation, it would eliminate a lot of the objection to this, I think. But, but for a house that's valued at four times as much to pay 12 times as much of an increase, hard for me to say that's fair. Early voting begins tomorrow, and election day is November 5th in Danville. I'm David Williams, Wish TV, News 8.